about this uh, this particular class. And very, if you look at it, uh, look at the roster. There's some height, there's some athleticism. You know, there's some guys that uh, obviously Mother Nature will be able to uh, decide in the end what positions they'll finally rest at. But uh, they're long-bodied, long-armed, long-athletic type guys that can run and and uh, you know play multiple positions. You know, at their schools. And uh, so that was one of the things we wanted to address. Um, there's wide receivers, there's, there's skilled defensive <coughs> backs, um, and then there's linemen. And I think that's uh, particularly deep defensive linemen, defensive ends that can rush the passer. That's uh, some of the things we wanted to uh, to address. The quarterback, Grayson Lambert, is already in school. He's, uh, I think, two weeks into being a college student right now, getting acclimated right now, and actually doing Lift, learn how to lift college weights and things like that. So, like I said, very pleased with the, with this class. Staff did a great job of, uh, of getting out there and, uh, again, establishing those relationships. Having had a lot of these guys committed early in the summer on our junior days and, um, for the most part, hanging on to all of them. And it's always, you're always worried about the guys decommitting or someone coming in the last minute, you know, and affecting you know, their decision, but um, you know the message was uh, true and consistent, and, and obviously it helped you know with the with the winning and the opportunities you know, for post game play. So um, again, excited about this class and look forward to to, uh, to, to coming here in the fall. Any questions? Can you? Uh, well, hold on, can you I forgot that we're using the wildest. Oh, I'm sorry, didn't know that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, with, with Eli, I mean he's one of the more highly touted guys to come in here in recent memory. How how nice was it? To have him in early and what kind of role did he play once he was in and bringing the other guys around? Well, I mean, obviously being the number one player in the state of Virginia, uh, one of the best defensive ends in the country, and he's here in your backyard, having an opportunity to have him commit early and then become basically the cheerleader for the rest of the rest of the class. I mean, not just in state, but you know, some of the out of state guys to, to connect and create a bond, you know, as far as they're they're concerned. And um, he is a. Uh, you talk about him, where he where he came from, and his background, and his, you know, the hard knocks of life that you know, that uh, hands that he'd been dealt with, the, with, his ability to overcome the things that he has, and um, and become uh, one of the leaders of his school. Um, did an e excellent job in his, you know, ACT, SAT um, scores. It just uh, when you meet him, he's just a fantastic young man that has a. As a success story is waiting to be written. You know. Mike, I've heard you a couple times today mention height and length, but you've got some guys in the program from Perry, KP, Trey, Darius, to uh, Dominique that are good players but under six foot. Did you feel like you needed to get some more size in the program? Um, you know, not not specifically. Let's go out and get all these guys that are, you know, that are, you know, six feet above. What, what happened during the course of recruiting, the guys that were interested in us, it just happened that, you know, in this situation, um, you know, there are athletes there that can play multiple positions. And, you know, when you're a short, fast guy, and, and Perry and KP, those guys would be mad because I called them short, but, um, you know, when you got vertically challenged, um, you know, <laughs> um, being sudden, being dynamic, you look at Perry, he's probably, you know, our best player on the team. You look at what he brings to the table. There's some things that a player with length, you know, that has that, you know, whether it's red zone or whether it's, you know, deep ball threat or, or big talk, big free safeties, uh, or outside linebackers that grow into defensive ends, you know, those type of things or tight end capabilities. That that's it's, it's significant about this class and what you look at their height and their athleticism. A lot of these guys, as I said, played other positions in high school, you know, basketball, lacrosse. Um, some are running, getting ready to run track. Um, so there's there's a lot of things that they do, and they're not just you know pigeonholed in one particular position. So I think the ability that they have and they, what they bring to the you know to our team, when we find out what exactly they're going to play, is an is an added plus for us.